Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Before I kick off today's scenario, quick reminder, if you want to set in your own scenario, you can do so by the link down below in the description. I do have a lot of scenarios already stockpiled. Uh, I think I just passed the 400 marker, so it's going to take me a while, if at all, to get through to your scenario. Now, with that out of the way, today we have Duncan M's scenario. This is the American disaster of 1942. The United States has attacked the Japanese at Guadalcanal. The airstrikes made by the Japanese have proved futile. After learning that the American forces were stronger than expected, the ground reinforcements have been recalled. The Japanese Admiralty has assigned you to attack and destroy the Allied fleet protecting their transports. Good luck. Now I'll be playing the Japanese in 1940. I have five light cruisers, two sorry, five heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and one destroyer at my disposal. And I can build the heavy cruisers. The Americans, they are out in force. They have six heavies, two lights, 15 DDs, and five transports. The starting range is officially 50,000 meters, but I think that's going to just mean that for the first, well, half hour of the battle, I'll be maneuvering and hoping to find those transports. So let's reduce that to 30,000. Wind conditions. Sink the transports. Um... He even included a point system. The point system is as follows. A 15 point uh, score can be accrued for killing off a heavy cruiser. If you kill off a light cruiser, you get 10 points. If you kill off a destroyer, you get 5 points. And if you kill off a transport, uh, you get nothing. <laughs> there are no points for transports. So while the objective is to sink the transports, there is a sort of, well, let's call it a side quest slash mission to get as many points as possible. So, um, 123 points is what he says I should get. Six heavy cruisers is 90 points. Two light cruisers makes that 110 points. And then I need to sink another three DDs in order to get 125 points, which puts me past the 123 point marker. Basically sink everything. Now, let's get to designing. 123 destroyers to tackle. Oh, sorry, thankfully not. Uh, 15 destroyers to tackle. So the first thing I'm going to put on here is Acoustics 3, Sonar 3. I'm going to make these very advanced Japanese cruisers to make sure that I have uh, quite a lot of benefits because I'm going to need those. Uh, let's put that at 14,700 tons. Let's set a speed of 33 knots. Uh, range is not going to be important in this scenario. And maximum bulkheads. All right, engines. Uh, I think maneuverability is going to be quite important here. So double geared steam turbines, oil. Let's go for force boilers and turbo electric drive two and shaft three. This means that I'll probably won't have that much displacement left for other critical systems. Uh, armor being one of them, but I intend to make these torpedo heavy cruisers Making sure that I can torpedo both the DDs and Potentially the cruisers and if I get long-running torpedoes, maybe even the transports Reinforced bulkheads 2, oh, sorry 1, flood 2, citadel 4 uh, Shells, let's go for heavies Advanced systems all around I don't really think I'm going to need an improved radio telegraph. Although it does help a bit with comms range. Uh, makes my main tower 15% heavier. Let's see if I can do it, and otherwise I can get rid of it. Propellant. I really like the 2 powder lately, because it has that 10.5% shell pen. So let's just go for that. And then torpedo propellant. I'm considering going for oxygen running. Because I have that additional range. They're a nice blend between the standards and the electrics. The electrics have less range and less speed. But they are very accurate. And they're very hard to detect. Whereas the oxygen ones. They have a lot more range. Uh, they run at the same speed. They reload slightly slower. And they have that 55% detection range debuff. Or buff. Depending on how you want to put it. Okay. Superstructure. Um, let's see, what sort of guns am I going to go with? 8 inch, 15 second reload. 
I think this could be a nice middle ground between going for a very gun heavy build with 11 inch guns to take down those uh, six heavy cruisers of theirs and between going with lighter armament to take down the destroyers quicker. So I'm gonna go with eight inch. Let's set up a, ooh, that's looking really quite big on there. Go for dual eight inch. Secondary tower. Actually, can I put a barbette down here? I can. Jesus, those things are enormous. How heavy is that? 336 tons. Okay, so I have 2700 tons displacement left, just in order to fit secondaries and torpedo tubes. Yikes. Alright, I want quintuples over there. And I want quadruples over there. And triples here. This way we were always going to be able to launch some torpedoes. Underwater tubes. Not too big a fan of these. But they do reload fairly quickly. That is the trade-off. Let's make them 21 inch torps. And this puts them at a range of 21.8 at a speed of 48 knots with a torpedo visibility of minus 40%. Range is very important here. Reload, however, is exceptionally long for the quintuple at 975 seconds. Better make those things count. Now, let's set up some secondaries. Got to keep the DDs at bay. Unfortunately, they don't quite fit there. Nor there. Come on. No, it's 3 inch. Alright, then we're going to make it 3 inch triples. These only have a range of 7.6. They at least fire very quickly. And, uh, well, at about two and a half kilometers, they become quite accurate. But if the DD is close to two and a half kilometers... Oof. In that case, I'm going to be in a very bad spot. Put up a super funnel. I think one might be enough. And these things do weigh 630 tons, so I'm a bit hesitant to put on a second, although I think it would look better. Uh, can I put another secondary... Let's say a smaller, no, not the side, well, maybe a side gun, actually. Six inch dual. I can fit those on there. Very interesting arc of fire for these turrets, as they can rotate very far and actually support the other side quite a bit. I know it looks a bit monstrous, but then again, I'm facing a pretty overwhelming force. So monstrous or not, this is what I'm going to roll with. We do have a bit of four weight offset, so that's better. Uh, if I push this thing, no, I can't push it further forward. I can put another couple of triples on there. All right, leaves me with a thousand tons-ish of displacement. Let's say a bit more belt armor. I think deck armor is also gonna be fairly important here because we are, well, majority of the time going to be facing longer range threats. Put some additional stuff on the turrets. See if we can get nine and a half, and then uh, about six inches of turret top armor. Secondaries. I'm not that keen on the secondaries. Uh, these are considered main guns. These are considered secondaries, but I really don't have a lot of bigger secondaries. And unfortunately, the five inch, oh, they do fit there. No, it's actually not too bad of a spot. Where else would they fit? Absolutely nowhere. They might fit over here, but I kind of doubt it. Too close to the turret. All right, let's put that, I think it was either a quad or a quin. Four, three, five, three. So I can send out a salvo of six using the triples, can send out a salvo of five, and I can send out a salvo of four. Ideally, not all at the same time, just to make sure I can stagger my launches and constantly put torpedo pressure on the enemy. Whether that's going to work, we will just have to test in practice. All right, this is the Iwate, but we're also gonna have other ships. Let's put her to the test. Now, 30,000 starting range, which means I'll first have to try and locate the enemy. 
and uh, <clears throat> not launch torpedoes at them just yet. I might go with a, a semi-pincer attack because I have five heavy cruisers. So I'll try to have a group of two and three <clears throat> attacking from two different vectors. Enemy smoke is spotted to the north. Understood. We have heavy cruisers Kinpu, Kumano, Takari, Iwate, and... Where's number five? Okay, Tatashina. All right, Tatashina, you're also going to head north, but at a slightly different vector. And I want the Iwate to join that group. So we're going to have a three and a two. Then we have the light cruiser, singular. Sorry, double actually, two light cruisers. I'm going to split these guys up. Uh, I want one of the ships to join the heavy group, and I want the other one to join the other heavy group. And then I have exactly one destroyer. And this destroyer is armed with a lot of torpedoes. Thank God. They went with quintuple launchers. Range 9-8. And I think increased ammo for torpedoes. Yeah. 61 torpedoes already on the Asagumo. Alright. Now, it's going to be a bit of a mess before these ships all sort out what formation they're supposed to be moving in. Uh, why does it say... Oh. The game is a bit confused about what I'm doing. I think it actually made the light cruiser as the leader of the group. That's really curious. The Noshiro and Tsugara, I think, are the lead ships. Yep, we're leading this group with light cruisers. What could possibly go wrong? Torpedoes not allowed. And let's have the DD scout out ahead. The enemy is to the north. Let's see if I can spot them. Alright, so one group there. And then the other group from the Noshiro, slightly more to the right. Game just reduced to times five, which means that the enemy is getting closer. Smoke spotted to the north. Do we have a ping? We have a ping. About 24 clicks out. Make that 29. Alright, DD, that's where we're going. And my light cruisers are very quick. Nice driving there, gentlemen. Light crews are very quick, and the heavies are going to have a tough time keeping up. Oh, we got contacts. These are the heavy cruisers. Hello, gentlemen. They seem to have gone for a slightly bigger armament. I'd say that's at least 9 inch, potentially 10. Torpedoes here and here, secondaries, five or six over there, and a lot of other secondaries throughout the ship. Range to the target is 23 kilometers, which almost puts them in range of the heavy cruisers. All right, Sugaru, that group, uh, you're definitely not going to be in range yet. And yeah, okay, here's the plan. This group's going to head this way. This group's going to continue on this way and then turn starboard. So one group's going to launch directly that way. And one group, one group is going to be over here and launch that way. And I'm going to try and get them caught up in a cross torp. It'll probably end up with me actually torpedoing my own ships, but I'm pretty used to that. And if you've watched more of my videos, then at this point you probably are too. So you guys are going to continue on to the port side of that formation. We have DD's galore racing in. Current range 15 kilometers. Nishiro and Takari has been spotted. Look at that group. That is a sizable American group. Torpedo range confirmed. Slow down. Come starboard. DD is already taking fire. I'm going to have to DD just drop torps early. She has 9.8 range. Which puts her in the range of that destroyer. And that's good. Because maybe right now those ships aren't in range yet. But they're all heading my way in a hurry. 
So the Asagumo can land torpedoes even if those ships are not in range. Unfortunately, this DD has turned port yeah, it's turned port pretty hard, which makes it a bit unpredictable in her current situation. All right, where's that other group? Right there. It's a bit too early to be launching torpedoes yet. What's the range? Kinpu? 11 clicks? I'm going to sort of have these things arrive at the same time. 14 clicks. Alright, light cruiser group Tsugaru. Trying to increase distance slightly. Doesn't have to be that much, just a bit. And if you have your guns available, then try hitting a heavy cruiser, because I'm not really valuing my chances of hitting a light cruiser, let alone a destroyer, very highly. Asagumo is falling back, as planned. I'm going to keep her quite safe. Looks like this DD has changed its mind. Kinpu and Kumano are ready to torpedo, but not the Takari. You know what? Maybe that's not too bad. Um, send torpedoes against this target. The heavy cruiser. Kinpu launched. Kumano launched. Ceasefire. At least on the torpedoes. Noshiro, Tatashina, Niwate. Get ready. Your target is in the middle of that group. Unfortunately, the DD might be in the way. I'm not sure if the Tatashina is going to be willing to launch her torpedoes. Potentially not with the DD that close. Are these fish looking like anything? Where are they? Oh, they're all the way over there. Yeah, so that's a big no. Noshiro has no torpedoes on her. That's the light. Okay, carry on. Incoming torpedoes. Thank you, Sonar. It's just the one that has been detected. I kind of doubt that that's the only one that they actually sent. Still, <clears throat> let's change course a bit. We have inflicted exactly two hits for what I believe is no damage. Tatashina still not launching her torpedoes. Uh, no, that's not alt, it's shift click. Masagumo can fall in behind the Iwate, so I don't lose track of her. Takari. Can you just dump torpedoes at that target? She should be able to. Is the smoke screen getting in the way? Okay, here come the, the torps. I think this is going to inflict some casualties. Sure enough, the DDs will detect them. Somewhat. But not all of them. Here's the torpedo. And there's another one. Slow down a bit more. I know I can use that little exploit where all of my ships start smoking up. But I don't really want to do that. Takari, please launch your starboard torpedo tubes. Now would be a good time. Tatashina still hasn't torpedoed? What is wrong with you? Here. Uh, no, not that. Follow. It would have been perfect if these guys actually opened up with their torpedo tubes. But so far, they're just reluctant to. At least these other torpedoes look like they're going to inflict some damage. 
And let's start the track. We are taking down DDs, CLs, and CAs. And a CA is worth, what was it, 15 points. A CL is worth 10 points, and a DD is worth 5 points. The group here seems to be in the clear. Takari has finally opened up. Tatashina, not so much. I think the DD might be the culprit. Asagumo. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they at this point are very much aware of the impending doom. It's just going to be up to the AI whether they're clever enough to get out of the way. And this cruiser seems to be making a bit of a maneuveral change. But not the right way. Ah, we got an idea on the light cruisers. This is the Birmingham. 7-inch guns. DD Ricketts. With 15 kilometer range torps, but just the three. So it seems like they're not that much of a torpedo threat, as opposed to the Japanese heavy cruisers. So far we've inflicted a bit of damage against that heavy cruiser, but it's really nothing too serious. All right, let's put it at times two, because this is probably gonna be a long fight. We got the William R. Rush. She has launched torpedoes against one of my ships. Against the heavy cruiser, but which one? Are these torpedoes on here? Did they pass? I think they passed. Alright. All the DDs are getting out of the way. Let me guess. Sonar 3? Sonar 2. Oh shit. Our DD's getting blown up. What hit you? 7 inch shell. Just the one. But she's gonna flood out. Oh no. That's a waste of a really good ship. Now could we fucking finally start shooting? Put the damn torps in the water, because now there's no friendly in the way anymore. Are these guys really going to not hit anything? No, they're not going to hit anything. Crap. I was kind of hoping I would actually hit something with the torpedoes. I mean, there's so many targets out there. sure if I'm going to have enough ammunition to go for a gun duel. Takara launched another couple of torpedoes. Something is wrong with these ships. They're just not shooting at all. The Tatashina has opened up slightly. She has so far spent 28 rounds. I understand that you don't want to fire at a destroyer. But can you please start shooting at something else? Oh, that's the range for the 8 inch. Alright. We're taking some very small hits on these ships. Another salvo goes out from, I think, Kumano. Where are the transports, by the way? That's not a transport. They must be all the way in the back somewhere. Just unidentified slash unspotted at current. They're still not shooting. Oh, shit. Fuck me. There goes the Nishiro. That was a big torpedo, wasn't it? 3,000 damage. What kind of torpedoes are you launching? 23 inch. Yeah. That was a big torpedo.
I'm in range with the 6 inch, the 5 inch, nothing's firing. There we go. Set to aggressive. They have a 0.2% chance to hit, and now they're actually firing. The torpedoes? Nope. For reasons unbeknownst. I mean, they're all there, the torpedo launchers. They're all ready. Just not shooting. Pushing the DD back. Oh, hit on the Birmingham. That took her structural integrity down by 93%, and she's flooding from bow to stern. So she's probably gone. There you go. First light cruiser sunk. Okay, what's the range to that group? 17 clicks. That's a bit far. What you got there? That's the Halsey Powell. Not in torpedo range. Oh, she is. Oh, okay. I thought they had a shorter range, but no, they don't. They have a good range. Are those turps going to run anything else? Well, if the Northampton continues on her course, she could be in trouble. Which would be good for me, because I think the heavy cruisers are currently one of my bigger threats. Sure enough, the DDs have torpedoes, but not that many. They don't have that many launchers. Northampton has probably detected the torpedoes. She hasn't? Curious. You'd think that at this point, considering that everybody else has already been trying to avoid these torpedoes, that these guys are fully aware of the torpedoes. Maybe the ship doesn't get credited with an actual spotting. Because the torpedoes were already spotted. That's a possibility. Can we just torpedo into the middle of that group? Just set aggressive. Finally! Torpedoes are away from the Tatashina and the Iwate. Excellent. Jeez, that took me forever. It messed up the whole plan, too. I was going for a nice cross torp, in which case they just could not escape. But instead, what I got was one side launching torpedoes and everybody scattering. Now, not that I have a problem with ships scattering, but it's much more effective if you actually... Oh, hello. Uh, if you actually kill them, then just make sure that you scatter them. One hit. Two hits, actually. Did you flood out? She flood. Okay. So that's a heavy cruiser killed. Torpedo is denied. Kumano and Kinpu. No, Kumano is ready to launch. Are you in a good angle? What are you doing? God, this division system really needs work. That really irks me. Kinpu, just torpedo when you have them. I do not like this light cruiser much. Something sank. I'm going to write that up as a potential transport. Because I think that that's the only thing that could be that far over the horizon that I haven't spotted yet. Kinpu might have just... Yeah, she just sent out her torpedoes. Good. Now you're going to join the other group of the heavy cruisers. And that is the group of the Takari and the Kumano. So that's group three. 
I'm just going to hand this thing over to the AI. The light cruiser. I don't want to micromanage that one. Tatashina and Iwate, you are in range of the destroyers, but you probably can't hit them. What I can do is make a hard turn to port and throw my starboard launchers into the mix. That's a possibility. Do it. Just set to normal engagement rules. I don't want to completely wear down my main armament just so I can get a couple of random hits or nothing at all. Let's see, torpedoes? Anything I need to be dodging? No. Kamano is ready. Right into the middle of that group, please, Kamano. Why are these heavy cruisers just not attacking whatsoever? 7-inch guns. Torpedoes, 5-inch secondaries. They're just not doing anything. It's like the whole AI is thrown out of whack for this video. Their ships aren't pushing. They're not attacking. My ships have severe trouble launching torpedoes whatsoever. It's weird. It's still Alpha 7.5, so I haven't changed anything. So we can get the starboard torpedo tubes away against the heavy cruiser over there. The Pueblo. Though, actually, no, not aggressive. I need to be a bit more careful because I'm starting to run slightly lower on torps at this point. And I'd rather not waste all of them. Speaking of torpedoes, where is my salvo? I sent a big wave into this group. Where are they? Jesus Christ, Sugaru. Get a handle on yourself, man. Sure enough, I made a course change. Granted. But was that really a good reason? To start ramming into my ships? Look at what these guys are doing. They're all sitting there. If they'd have sent 15 DDs after my three heavy cruisers on this side, I'd be in real trouble. But again, just not happening. Um, torpedoes are at 21.8. We're going to have to just charge in there, I guess. Light cruiser Tsugaru, charge in. Either as a sacrificial lamb or as a torpedo magnet or both. Range here. It's about 14. Alright, we have another salvo away from our ships. But they're pulling back so much that I really don't expect to hit anything. Damn, the AI can be really frustrating to fight. Not so much because they're so aggressive, but they're so passive. Look at this, they're constantly ramming into each other. Is this some sort of DD shuffle? Or are they all high from their own smokescreen? One seems to have taken a torpedo. No way you're surviving that one. Yep, they're ramming into each other some more. So were you a manly man or a deadly man? Deadly man. Good man. Alright, destroyer sunk. And there's another one. George McKenzie. Flooding quickly. Interesting how she only got torped once. And this... Oh, there we go. Now the compartment's also starting to flood. So we're finally inflicting some damage against our DDs. 
Using another collision. Using torpedoes of all things. I mean, not that I hadn't wasn't expecting torpedo hits, but arguably the DD should be the ones who do the torping, not the ones getting torped. Range here about twelve. Is the George Mackenzie seriously surviving that? That's impressive. That torpedo hit right amidships. And she limited that damage to just one compartment? What the hell? Anti-flood one? Color me impressed. Did I just hit another one? No, that was the manly a while ago. Commando's burning, courtesy of... Of who? The, the hit isn't even registered. Curious shit. Let's send a cluster of torpedoes into that group. Iwata and Tatsushina. You guys are going to have to seriously start pushing. Speed to flank. Light cruiser, speed to flank. Push in. You got 7 inch guns. Could be a great weapon to use against those DDs if you can get close enough. It feels a bit like slowly disassembling an ant hill. Every now and then you get one of the ants. But the, the rest of them just keep crawling through each other. And it's not like they're actually seriously posing a threat. They have the numbers. They probably have more torpedo launchers. They have the guns. They're not doing it. Now, I really like Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, but shit like this really irks me. And I know it's a small development studio. I know it's uh, a studio that also got hit by the Corona slowdown. I mean, hasn't everybody. But come on. They're advertising this game as having very clever AI. Oh, that was a few... Fuck me. That was a few torpedoes. You know, at this point, I barely even care anymore about the scenario. What the... The Kumano got hit. So why is the Takari changing formation to fall in behind the Kinpu? That makes no sense. Why would the Kinpu suddenly become the lead ship of the formation? What is wrong with you? Also, why is there a sonar or a sensor ping over here? When there's definitely not anything here. Here. One and a half clicks out. I think the AI is throwing one big hissy fit at this point. Torpedo in the water. Sorry about being so negative this video, but... This game sometimes... Oh... Sugaru's taking a few more hits. Ooh. Whatever. You know what? I'm just going to end it here. I'm very much considering not uploading this, but I'm going to anyway. Just to highlight how frustratingly the AI can be. I mean, my ships are having trouble... Finding their formation, but this is just a big clusterfuck. What are these ships doing? I'm not even sure if the AI knows what formation they're in. I suppose that this ship might be following that one, and this ship might, I don't know, be following that one. But they all start cruising right through each other, and it turns into one big mess. Again, the game has so much potential, but... 
stuff like this is really setting it back. And then again, the torpedo is just refusing to launch. Not once, not twice, but repeatedly. Come on. It needs work. Anyway, with that uh, rant over and video over, I hope you guys enjoyed the video insofar as you could. And I really hope that the devs are going to be fixing this stuff. Because this is going to be very annoying. Maybe it's just a one-time incident. Maybe it's just a, a weird hissy fit of the AI. I don't know. Hopefully soon it'll be better. Thank you guys for watching. And I shall see you guys soon for another video.